dive deeper into the captivating saga of Usation, a historical matriarch whose life unfolded as a gripping tale of ambition, cunning, and legacy. Born in the heart of Shanxi province during the illustrious Tang Dynasty, Yuzhen's early years were marked by privilege and paternal encouragement. Her father, a high-ranking government official, recognized her potential, steering her towards the arts of dance and song. Little did he know that he was nurturing the seeds of a future empress. At the tender age of 14, Yuzhen's destiny took a dramatic turn when she entered the imperial palace as a maidservant. This move, considered an honor, not only exposed her to the intricacies of court life but also provided a rare opportunity to delve into the realms of literature and music, a foundation that would prove instrumental in her meteoric rise. With a spirit as vibrant as the era she lived in, Yuzhen swiftly ascended to become Emperor Taizong's concubine at the age of 20. Her charm and intelligence endeared her to Taizong, making her one of his favorites within the imperial harem. However, when Taizong passed away, the throne passed to his son, Emperor Gaozong. Yuzhen, undeterred by the change in leadership, cleverly used her status in the palace to wield influence and power. Her charisma drew the attention of the new emperor, and she skillfully navigated palace intrigues, securing her place in the imperial court. Yet, her most notorious move was yet to come. In a calculated and chilling act, Yuzhen, known for her frosty demeanor and Machiavellian cunning, orchestrated a plot against Empress Wang. This involved the unthinkable, accusing Empress Wang of a crime she did not commit, ultimately leading to her banishment and mysterious death in exile. As the dust settled, Yuzhen emerged as Gaozong's new empress, wielding unprecedented authority. Her influence grew steadily, and as Gaozong's health declined, she assumed an increasingly pivotal role in the governance of the empire. Upon Gaozong's death, Yuzhen's ambitions took a darker turn. She orchestrated a devious plan against her own son, Zhang Tong, manipulating circumstances to depose him from the throne. The reins of power now firmly in her grasp, Yuzhen achieved the pinnacle of her ambitions by founding the Zhou dynasty, becoming the first and only woman to rule China as a sovereign empress. Yuzhen's legacy, though marked by intrigue and ruthlessness, stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of a woman who defied societal norms to etch her name into the annals of Chinese history. Embark on a riveting exploration of Yuzhen's multifaceted rule, a tale that unfolds with authority and controversy, leaving an enduring impact on the tapestry of Chinese history. In a strategic and audacious move, Yuzhen orchestrated a shift in the imperial hierarchy by demoting her own son, Razan, to the position of crown prince. This early maneuver underscored her unyielding resolve to wield power and control at all costs. Notorious for her authoritarian governance, she ruled with an iron grip, manipulating public discourse through censorship and ruthlessly suppressing any voices that dared challenge her authority. Her intricate spy network became a formidable tool, casting a pervasive shadow over her subjects, stifling dissent, and ensuring her reign remained unchallenged. Yet, beneath the veil of authoritarianism, Yuzhen emerged as a transformative leader. Her vision extended beyond the palace walls as she spearheaded an expansion of the empire, seizing new territories and consolidating control in regions far removed from the central government. The landscape of the nation transformed under her command, adorned with bridges, canals, and roads that stitched together the fabric of the empire's infrastructure. Yuzhen's commitment to societal progress manifested in her advocacy for gender equality. Her reign became a beacon for women's involvement in public office, challenging deeply entrenched norms. Simultaneously, she became a patron of Buddhism, launching a fervent campaign that resulted in the construction of numerous temples and the sponsorship of translations of sacred texts. The spiritual landscape of China underwent a profound shift as a result of her influence, with many of her subjects embracing Buddhism during her tenure. As a champion of education and culture, Yuzhen fostered an environment conducive to intellectual and artistic growth. Schools and universities flourished under her patronage, contributing to a vibrant literary and artistic renaissance. However, her reign was not without challenges, including a rebellion led by her nephew, Prince Li Chongjun, whose execution in 684 marked a dark chapter in Yuzhen's rule. Facing resistance from both the imperial family and disgruntled government officials, Yuzhen employed brutal tactics, including political persecutions, public executions, and covert assassination orders. Despite these challenges, she tenaciously clung to power until her death on December 16, 705, 
at the age of 81. In a poignant twist, Usation, in her final edict, relinquished the title of reigning empress, choosing to be remembered as empress consort. Her final resting place, near her late husband Gaozong in the Tianling Mausoleum on Mount Liang, serves as a testament to the complex legacy she left behind. While official Chinese history portrays Usation as a ruthless and brutal tyrant, burdened with the stigma of authoritarianism, a closer examination reveals a nuanced figure. Her reign, marked by both oppressive tactics and transformative reforms, has etched an indelible mark on China's history, influencing its trajectory in ways that resonate to this day.